I am about to take you through nine levels of outrage that will make your heart race. Or worse, if you accept the challenge. The average government worker makes 60% more than the average private sector employee. That's $79,000 versus $50,000. Even worse, private sector benefits, $11,000. Government worker benefit, $49,000. That's four times as much for a total of over $123,000 versus over $61,000. At this time, your heart may start pounding and you may experience dizziness, but we're just getting started. Not only do federal employees enjoy their higher salaries and benefits, they also have absolute job security. The current unemployment rate for private sector, 9.6%. The government worker, only 2.9%. That is because it is almost impossible to fire them for poor performance after they pass a one-year probationary period. At this point, your left arm will begin to go numb. Obama Inc. has made this the biggest government in history, and there are more six-figure earners than all previous administrations combined. He's also on the move to add 600,000 new federal workers and 16,000 new IRS agents. Prepare for cardiac arrest. About 100,000 government bureaucrats owe the IRS $1 billion in unpaid taxes, and they still can't be fired. The government is killing the private sector and job growth. You lose. However, there is one group of the highest paid federal workers you can stop. Members of Congress. Tell Obama and the Democrats to stop putting the private sector into cardiac arrest. Help us revive America this November.